So bro, over the summer, last December and January, I was addicted to Instagram Reels. Now I know Instagram Reels is not TikTok, but it's basically the same thing. It's like short form content with like an infinite scroll that has the algorithm that caters to your interests. And it took me a long time to quit them and quit this addiction. And in quitting it, I learned a lot about how it was fucking my mind and my life. And also I did a lot of research and learned about this kind of content and what it was doing to us and society. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some insights that I had in that whole process. So I think it's one of the things that's most destroying your productivity, your mental health, and your general enjoyment of life. So the first thing, it is tanking your motivation. You're getting really easy stimulation. You're getting stimulation really, really fast. You're getting like a brand new stimulating piece of content every 15 to 60 seconds. And when you're getting stimulated so fast, right? It tanks your motivation to be able to focus on longer things. Say for example, you wanna study and do work for like an hour to 90 minutes. Your brain's gonna be so used to switching contexts every 15 to 60 seconds that when you actually try to sit down and do work, your thoughts are gonna be pulling you all over the place. It's gonna affect your ability to focus. And it's gonna seem boring to focus for long periods of time. It's gonna tank your motivation. And that's what I realized when I tried to do work, my brain kept wanting to be entertained and pulled in different directions. That's not normal. The brain is supposed to be able to focus for long periods of time. Before technology was invented, we never really switched contexts very much. Like think about like people in the olden days, they were never doing anything that required so much switching of attention. Like it's not like in front of them they had like 50 books and they were like looking at all the different books or, or like they were standing in front of like 50 different people and having like conversations with every single person in 15 seconds. No bro, they were never switching context so much. So when we're experiencing this in the modern day, it's affecting our focus, our motivation, our ability to pay attention. Like you might notice you're having a conversation with someone. This happens all the time, bro. I'm having a conversation with someone and they'll be like really into the conversation. It'll, it'll look like they're listening and enjoying it. But then out of nowhere, they'll pull out their phone. It's like they can't focus. Their, their brain goes mindless and they pull out their phone. And that brings me on to the second thing. You become mindless. Like I noticed I was going on Instagram reels. Like I was... I noticed I was going on social media, not consciously. So I wasn't going like, okay, right now I'm gonna go onto my phone for five minutes and look at this content. No, it happened unconsciously, like I was a robot. Like I would sit down and without even thinking, I'd pull out my phone and start scrolling. Or it's like, I'd be waiting five minutes, automatically I pull out my phone and start scrolling. I did not like consciously choose to do that because it's so stimulating, so exciting that your brain makes it a habit. It makes you not have to think about wanting to do it. It just makes you do it. So maybe you realize that. Maybe you find yourself throughout the day randomly looking at TikTok without realizing it. Like you pull out your phone, you start scrolling. It's turning into a robot. It's just sucking random pieces of time from you. It's like, okay, we're gonna take 10 minutes away here, 20 minutes away here. And it's taking away a bunch of little pockets of your time throughout the day, which adds up over the day to the point where you're spending like five hours on TikTok a day. Like I saw this piece of information, it said like, users spend like five times more time on TikTok than YouTube users. Even though TikTok videos are shorter. It's because the shorter content keeps you on it for longer and it keeps you using it for random pieces of time during the day. Like if you've got five minutes to spare, you're not gonna go, okay, I'm gonna watch a 20 minute YouTube video. No, you're gonna go, okay, I'm gonna watch a couple TikToks because it's nice and short and it's easy. So it's much easier to fill in those small pockets of time. So yeah, it takes your time and it makes you mindless losing time without consciously giving the time. It just happens automatically if that makes sense. Next reason why it's making you stupid. Now be open to this one, this, might, this one might seem weird. It's implanting thoughts into your mind. Like bro, have you ever talked if you're a high schooler, please let me know in the comments if this is true. But sometimes I'll like look at like younger people talking to each other or sometimes I'll talk to them and they'll just randomly do some like weird shit out of nowhere. Like a kid will be talking to his friend and out of nowhere, he'll just like bust out like a TikTok move or something. Like he'll just like do a random dance. And the reason is because 
when you're seeing this content over and over again, it kind of implants that thought into your mind. Because think about it, if you're talking to someone and out of nowhere you choose to randomly do a move or randomly use a piece of terminology, it's because out of nowhere a thought goes into your mind that says, okay, bust out a dance move. And then you listen to that thought and you do the move. So thoughts are literally being implanted into your mind. Like I remember, there's like a lot of terminology, like Gen Z terminology on TikTok, right? And now I'm, I have nothing against that terminology. Like I think it's adding a lot of vocabulary to our lexicon, like, you know, words like, oh, no cap, bro, stuff like that. Like I'm not against words like that, right? I think that's fine. It's just language. But when you're looking at this content so much, it starts taking over like every sentence of your vocabulary. Like I would be talking to people and like every like couple sentence I'd be like, bruh, you know, I'd be saying some kind of like TikTok kind of trend thing because it was being implanted in my, in my mind to say that. So it's destroying your authenticity. It's destroying your true self. And on that, it's basically confirming certain beliefs in your mind. Like I'm sure you know on TikTok now, they're basically romanticizing depression. They're like, oh yeah, bro, we're all depressed, life sucks, all that. And the more you listen to that kind of content, the more it implants into your mind that life sucks, that you're depressed, that you're miserable. And the more you implant that into your mind, the more it becomes reality because you start looking out for that. You start doing the actions that make you like that. Like it doesn't let you think for yourself. Also the algorithm, it forces you down one way of thinking. Like imagine if you were a flat earther, okay? You believed the earth was flat and you were on TikTok. You would like a flat earth video, right? Then the algorithm would continue to show you flat earth videos. So suddenly your feed will be filled with flat earth videos, which would be confirming your belief even more, even more. It would be solidifying this belief into your mind rather than like showing you different content to open your mind up and look at different viewpoints. What you put into your mind controls how you think, how you believe. So you should be picking it yourself, not letting the algorithm choose for you. And on that, the algorithm knows exactly what you wanna see, even if you consciously don't wanna see it. it because it wants to keep you on the app for as long as possible, right? Let me give you an example. The algorithm knows that men are obsessed with like sexual content and ass. So it'll keep showing you that because it knows you like it. Even though, you know, maybe you're a nofap and you're trying not to like see sexual content because keep seeing sexual content will like sexualize your brain. Will like sexualize your brain and see women in a sexual way instead of seeing them as human beings. But the algorithm knows that's what's gonna keep you on the platform because that's what you like. So it'll keep showing you that. So the algorithm is designed to be as addicting as possible for you. And it will show you stuff that you don't wanna see even though you kind of want to see it because you're addicted to it, but you don't consciously want to see it like sexual content. Like there's a lot of tactics they use to keep you on the app. Like for example, there's this thing called the variable reward system. Basically the idea is if every now and then they show you a piece of content that actually sucks, then that actually makes you more addicted to it. Because if every single piece of content was good, you wouldn't get that exciting feeling. But if only every few pieces of content are good, then it kind of activates in your brain this kind of like discovery feeling where you're like discovering amazing pieces of content. And that actually makes you more addicted to it. So they don't make everything they show you amazing, only some things. Like bro, they've got guys who are being paid millions of dollars, who are app making geniuses, literally designing these apps to be perfectly addictive for you. And you're trying to fight against them. You're trying to resist their, their, the urge, but it's impossible, bro. They're going to win. They are geniuses. They are like, they've been researching this forever. They know how to keep you on the app. And the final thing I'll mention, it's like a never ending scroll, right? So you never actually reach the end where you're like, okay, I'm satisfied. You never reach that point. You just keep scrolling because it's an infinite scroll. But here's the thing, are you actually having fun? If you've seen anyone on TikTok, you realize they don't look like they're having that much fun. Their face is just completely still and they're scrolling. Like think back to any of the stuff that you watched on TikTok over the past week. How much of it do you remember? Probably not much, right? 
because it's not actually fun. You're just addicted. It's destroying your mind and you're not having that much fun. Like, fair enough, bro. If you're getting like so much life fulfillment out of it, if, if you're like, oh man, yeah, this is the meaning of my life. I wake up every morning, you know, excited to go on TikTok. That's my life. Then fair enough, bro. You know, maybe you're a different kind of person. But the majority of people would agree they don't actually have that much fun on it. But it's easy. It's easier than doing the hard stuff. That's why we do it. That's why, bro, I prefer to live a much more minimal lifestyle. A lifestyle where I'm not stimulating myself every mo moment of the day. And I'm just doing the stuff that I actually want to do that will build my future that I want. Do doing the activities that actually give me fulfillment and meaning in life rather than just trying to entertain myself every minute of the day. Because as you know, that's not making you happy. Because if it made you happy, then the people for the majority of history would have been not happy because they never had that kind of content. So it must not be this kind of content that's making us happy. Stimulation must not equal happiness and life fulfillment because it doesn't. It just, it's an illusion. It makes you feel like you're being fulfilled, but you're just being numbed. You're just being stimulated because it takes away your pain, but it doesn't give you fulfillment. It's easy, but it's actually the hard things that truly make you happy and give you fulfillment in your life. So bro, subscribe, see you later.